Sometimes I spit when I talk, and the wind will blow it right back in my eye. Now I wear goggles, so in your face, wind, but not in mine. Hey, how'd you all get up there? All right, let's go in. All right, let's go. We're here. I heard that a bunch of former slaves from Paradise Falls set up a free town in the Lincoln Memorial. Oh yeah, I heard about that. They're trying to help other slaves escape too. Good for them. I think slavery is horrible. It's yep. weird being back here. Oh, hey, who are you? Oh, great. Listen, I know who you are, okay? Far as I'm concerned, you've got no business being here. So just stay out of my way. What the fuck is the chip on your shoulder? Unlike some people around here, I stuck with Dr. Lee through it all. I was the last one to leave when we finally gave up. Now your daddy shows up out of the blue, and suddenly I have to drop everything to come back and help pick up the pieces. Well, I mean, you don't need to be such an asshole. God forbid I should be upset that twice now my work has been screwed over by your father. And to make things worse, this time he brings his snot-nosed kid along for the ride. Look, I completely agree with you. He was my dad. But, I mean, you don't have to be so mean about it. It's not my fault. Is there anything I should know about this place? Besides the fact that you shouldn't be here? Don't touch anything you're not told to. There's enough to do around here without having to clean up after you. I'm not gonna touch anything. Do you actually think Project Purity will ever work again? The hell do you care? You showed up here, what, five minutes ago, and now you're strutting around like you own the place? You shouldn't even be here. Why don't you go do whatever it is you're supposed to be doing and leave me alone? Seriously? No, I think I'm gonna ask again. Do you think Project Parity will ever work again? Not if you keep asking me stupid questions. Oh, fuck you. Go jump in the irradiated water, please. Keep your hands to yourself in there. This equipment is fragile. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Let's go see what James is doing. Hello, honey. Hey. Here we are, where it all began. You remember your mother's favorite passage? Revelation 21.6 I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Don't you see? This is what it all means. The water, the purifier. This is the water of life. Your mother's dream. No point in wasting time. Let's get to work. There's much to be done. I don't like you invoking my mother in this. I don't think you have a right to talk to me about her. But what do we need to do right now? The project was abandoned shortly after you were born. Things have deteriorated here since then, and there's been some flooding. I need you to get to the flood control pumps and activate them so we can clear out the water and reach the mainframe. Why me? Can't someone else do it? In a word, no. Everyone else has specific tasks to complete as the power comes back online. Don't worry. I'll guide you along the way as best I can using the intercom system. You'll do fine. Yeah, I guess you're probably a bit short staff right now. Okay, where do I need to go? The automatic doors sealed when the flooding occurred. 
so you'll have to use the access tunnels to reach the pumps. Okay, fine. Let's go. Oh, hey! Hey there! I hear we have you to thank for getting us up and running again. Uh, yeah. Who are you? Who, me? Oh, nothing special. I grew up in Rivet City and was always interested in what the scientists were doing there. Dr. Lee took me under her wing and taught me everything I know. Dan and I were out in the field when we got the call to come back. Oh, well, you're a lot nicer than him. Anything I should know about this place? I'd steer clear of the water if I were you. It's seeping in from the tidal basin, which means it's radioactive. If that's not bad enough, if there are any loose wires as the power comes back on, you might get a bit of a jolt. Know what I mean? Uh, yeah, right. Do you think Project Purity will ever work again? I don't see why not. Between Dr. Lee and your dad, we've got the best minds on the job. They can do just about anything. Yeah, I think we'll be up and running in no time. All right. Well, bye. Good luck. I sure hope they're able to do this. How are you holding up? Need directions? Where am I now? You're in what used to be the old museum and gift shop. A lot of the project's machinery is down there now. We just refer to it as the museum level. So where do I go from here? Keep heading down. There's a staircase at the south end of the level you're on. Okay. Thanks, James. Keep up the good work, honey. Wait a minute. This... This is where they delivered me. This is where my original body was born, or at least one of them. You're going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh, oh, very strapping. <laughs> this is where my mom died. There's journal entries. Maybe they'll explain what happened. But I think I already know. I am at a loss. My beloved wife is gone. In her place is my daughter, small and helpless. As much as this place means to me, as much as it meant to Catherine, this is no place for an infant, especially an infant without her mother. It's time to go. The project was in trouble before, both internally and externally. Progress has come to a halt, both because our recalculations have gotten us nowhere and because the mutant attacks occur several times a day. I regret that it has come to this. I know that if I leave, our work may come to an end. Madison has never been on the best of terms with the Brotherhood. Aside from Scribe Rothschild, she'll tolerate none of them. If she's the one dealing with them, who knows what will happen? It breaks my heart to go. But I must put the needs of my child before my own. Wow, he sounds so broken. He must have been dealing with a lot of grief at the time. I guess grief can make people do funny things. James has made a lot of mistakes. Maybe I should give him the chance to make up for them. I wonder if there are any them. Twinkies left. I see where your mind's at, Amanda. Oh, the controls are over here. How are you holding up? Need directions? Uh, where am I now? You're in the security level. It's full of holding tanks for the water, as well as our processing equipment and power systems. So where do I go from here? The flood control pump is at the south end of this level. Oh, okay. Bye. Keep up the good work, honey. Thanks, James. I think this is it. Great work on the pumps. Hurry back, and I'll give you the fuses you'll need. Why couldn't you have given me them while I was up there? <sighs> oh well. 
Hey, you said I needed some fuses? I've been hearing good things about you. Is it true? Did you really disarm the bomb and Megaton? Yeah, I disarmed the bomb. You know, with that three-dog guy on the radio talking about me all the time, I guess I've built up a reputation. I'm very proud of you, even though you put yourself in harm's way. Just please be careful out there. This is a dangerous world. Far more dangerous than anyone on that vault knows. I know how dangerous it is. I've been out here. You know, maybe I take after my father, who was putting his life at risk for a humanitarian project. Anyway, you said something about fuses? Right. The flooding shorted out some of the fuse boxes downstairs, including one that controls some of the automatic doors. Here, take these fuses. The box is back down in the sub-basement near the eastern end of the level. Once the fuses are replaced, you'll be able to get to the mainframe. All right. Uh, wait, what should I be doing? You need to replace the fuses that shorted out in the flooding. Once they're in, the automatic doors will work and we can reach the mainframe. All right, I'll go. Be careful, sweetie. <sighs> yes, James. He doesn't know me well enough to call me, sweetie, but I guess we could talk about that later. Oh, the, here are the fuses. With the fuses in place, you should be able to access the mainframe. No need to come back to the control room. Just head straight there. Uh, okay, sure. Wait, there's a bunch of logs here. Wait, the quote! This, this must have been Mom and Dad's room. So, here I am, back where it all began. Project Purity. God, we wanted to change the world. We really thought the waters of life could be a reality. And that's why this is a momentous occasion. Because even after 19 years, I still believe it. Project Purity can and will be operational. This is just the beginning. Wait, James, did you just record this one? This is day two of my attempt to resurrect this project. I've got one of the portable fusion generators up and running but it's just enough to power the emergency lighting and a couple of other systems. That will serve for now, but I'll need help powering up the mainframe. Time to visit Madison at Rivet City. Oh, that was right before I met up with him. I spoke with Dr. Lee, Madison, at Rivet City. It went about as well as I expected. That is to say, she thinks I'm completely mad. How can I blame her? He's got her own life, her own team, and is making real, tangible scientific progress. And here I come again, the very paragon of failure and false promises. But the reality is, I need Madison and whatever scientific team she may have assembled. I can't do this myself. Project Purity is bigger than me. It always was. And without Catherine... God, I can't let this die. Not again. Not like this. Well, at least he seems to be somewhat self-aware. Don't worry, James. We'll make this happen. Well, here we are again. Project Purity and me. It's been close to 20 years since my last entry. Since I left all of this behind to make a life for my daughter. We've spent that time in Vault 101, tucked away from the rest of the world. It wasn't perfect, but it was safe, and that's all I could have hoped for. Now my daughter is a grown woman. Beautiful, intelligent, confident. Just like her mother. And as hard as it was to admit it, she doesn't need her daddy anymore. Well, I'm glad he's finally accepted that. 
That batch of tests was inconclusive, but Madison and I are convinced it's a problem with the secondary filtration system. We're going to recalibrate the equipment and try again tomorrow, so that... James, please, I'm trying to work. Now's not the time. So that's the next step. Assuming we get the results we need, we'll move on to... James! Stop! I need to finish these notes. <laughs> We'll move on to diagnosing the issues with the radiation dampeners. That should... Ow! James! Now? We really shouldn't. <laughs> that was Mom. Before she died. I never thought I'd get to hear her voice. Hey, James. Hello, honey. I know there's a lot going on right now. This is all very sudden. I just wanted to say... I wanted to say that I'm proud of you. You're a good person, and it shows. Despite what you put me through, I was just trying to make the best of it. Someday, I'll find a way to make it up to you. I promise. Let's finish our work so that we can do some good together. Thanks, James. I'll hold you to that. Uh, wait. What was I supposed to be doing again? You just need to power up the mainframe, and we can see what there is to see. Oh, okay. I'll go do that. Be careful, sweetie. Oh, here's the mainframe. Well, you've done it. It'll just be a few minutes until we can access the mainframe. Use the intercom so I can tell you where to go next. Uh, all right. There are a few minor repairs still to be made up here in the control room. Why don't you come back here and give me a hand? Actually, wait. There's one other thing I need you to do. Janice says there's a blockage in one of the intake pipes. It's on your way back. Head back up to the museum level and give me a call on the intercom when you get there. Uh, wait, where do I go from here? Head up to the museum level. Use the door at the north end of the level you're on now. Uh, all right. Keep up the good work, honey. Uh, thanks. I'll see you soon. Oh, hi. Hey there. So who are you? I have worked for Dr. Lee for many years. She has been good to me, helped me through some difficult times. I had little purpose in my life before she helped me. So now I help her in return. I am no scientist, but I am good with machines. All right. Well, do you think Project Purity will ever work again? If Dr. Lee says it will work, then it will be so. Wow, you really believe in her. You know what? I do too. Bye. Bye. Oh, I have to go down into a sewer. Great. <laughs> All right. You should be just outside the pipe that's been giving us trouble. Now don't worry, this isn't dangerous at all. Just get inside and use the manual controls to drain the pipe. That'll break up the debris enough for the filters to function properly. Are you sure this isn't dangerous? No, not at all. You'll just need to turn a valve. It'll only take a moment. Okay, I'm going in. Now I won't be able to contact you once you're in there. You'll exit near the systems. And then you can get in touch with me again. All right. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, is this the valve he was talking about? All right, I'll just give it a turn. 
All right, that should fix it. Vertebrates. That's Everyone, not listen. good. Seems we have some visitors. I don't know who they are or what they want. Please, everyone, remain in your assigned areas while we get this. Honestly? What are they doing here? Where? It looks like we're going to have to go Madden, to shooting, darling. Door. I don't think the Enclave is stopping by for tea. <sighs> I don't think so either, Audrey. What the fuck, Enclave? As in the descendants of the American government? That Enclave? But I was privy to a sort of exclusive club before the bombs. Colonel Ellen Santiago of an enclave of the United States. But that's impossible. They were defeated in the NCR Enclave War. The Enclave are a bunch of psychotic pre-war relics that rose up in Northern California 30 years ago. They're hardcore killers hell-bent on restoring their idyllic version of America at the expense of everyone else, mind you. But we were wrong. The Enclave fractured, but they were... Uh, regrouping. We are the Guardians of the Enclave. Special commandos created to serve the President after the Great War. My father was a member of the government before it collapsed, and I was selected to receive an implant that filtered radiation and extended life. I later learned that the Enclave in the past were called Enclave Squad Leonidas. JAG has finally ordered us out of California by way of Colonel Autumn. Autumn and his boy just set out for the east. Oh shit! While we were dealing with them, the survivors of the Navarro Enclave headed out east. While we currently do not have enough reinforcements to engage the battalion directly, we have sent word to the team scouting the ruins of St. Louis. We hope to have a unit sent to us within the coming weeks. That's why I found Enclave in Alton. They must have left a squad behind on their way east. You must be President Epern. I am a lieutenant of the Enclave, and I am a pure human. Enclave? What? What are Enclave doing here? Uh, I'm not leaving this chance. <laughs> I literally ran into one of them. I thought he was just a straggler from Navarro, like Brian's neighbor in Grey Ditch. No sooner did I turn it on, than I heard the familiar patriotic anthems they used to play whenever Richardson would give a speech. But this was different. Who the hell was President Eden? When did that happen? It's been fucking staring me in the face the whole time! Enclave Radio isn't even a pre-war signal loop, it's live! You're listening to Enclave Radio. I'm John Henry Eden, President of the Enclave, President of America, President of your heart. Fuck! President Eden, Colonel Autumn, they've been preparing to retake the capital. Is that why they're here? To control the water supply? I have to hurry and stop them. Oh shit. Yep, definitely an enclave here. Whoa! Oh, nice! <sighs> We're gonna have to fight our way there. We have to get to where James is. Oh shit. Yeah, there's some in here too. Mom, we gotta get to the purifier room. Contact another civilian. Take him down. Huh, <sighs> all right. Are there any more in here? Positive ID yep. on target. Heads up. Whoa, thanks, Audrey. Oh, shit. I've never seen these What's power that? armor suits before. Ah. <sighs> Look at 
Looks like the Enclave has come a long way. Okay. This looks rare. I better take it just in case. By the authority of the president, this facility is now under United States government James. control. The person in charge is to step forward immediately and turn over all materials related to this project. That's quite impossible. This is a private project. The Enclave has no authority here. I'm going to have to ask you to leave at once. Am I to assume, sir, that you are in charge? Yes, I'm responsible for this project. Then I repeat, sir, that you are hereby instructed to immediately hand over all materials related to the purifier. I'm sorry, but that's... Furthermore, you are to assist Enclave scientists in assuming control of the administration and operation of this facility at once. Colonel, is it Colonel? I'm sorry, but the facility is not operational. It never has been. I'm afraid you're wasting your time here. Sir, this is the last time I am going to repeat myself. Stand down at once and turn over control of this facility. Colonel, I assure you that this facility will not function. We have never been able to successfully replicate test results. Janice! I suggest you comply immediately, sir, in order to prevent any more incidents. Are we clear? Yes, Colonel. I'll do whatever you want. There's no need for more violence. Then you will immediately hand over all materials related to this project and aid us in making it operational at once. Very well. Give me a few moments to bring the system online. I grow tired of waiting. Nearly finished. Colonel Autumn? What? Ah! James! Run. Run! Yeah, James, wait, I... Do something! You've got to do something! Like what? What am I supposed to do? Anything! What? No! No! James! No! I just got you back! We're supposed to be a family! Dad! Dad! I'm such a dumbass! I should have stopped this! Enjoy your pointless broken purifier, Enclave! I will be back! And I will kill every single one of you let's go we have to make it to the tunnel follow me and stay quiet all right let's go the citadel is our only chance now we have to make it there uh, all right let's go All right, is everyone here? Let's let's just get out of here. Come Don't on. Wander off. We're going to need you. Uh, wait, what? You heard me. We need you right now. You're the only one here with any amount of combat experience. We've got the Enclave behind us, and who knows what ahead of us. If we're going to make it through here, we need your help. Yeah, yeah. What do you need me to do? We need to stick together, but we need to move quickly. We'll follow behind you. All right, let's get moving. All right, all right. Um, just just wait here. I'll scout ahead and make sure it's safe. Are you sure? I don't want to stay in one place for too long. Yeah, I'm sure. I I need to make sure it's safe. Let me check on the others. Thank God someone else made it out. What the hell is going on? Who are those guys? Did I hear gunshots? Yeah, the the enclave is trying to take over the purifier. Uh, can you help us get through this? What? You're supposed to be the tough one, right? Why don't you take care of it? All right, all right. I was just seeing if there's anything you could do to help. Bye. I really don't want to die down here. You won't. Daniel? I better not ever find out that you or your father had something to do with this. If I even think you sold us out. My father is fucking dead, you asshole. Oh, hell. I'm sorry. I didn't know. 
I just thought that since this happened after you showed up, well, you know, man, I'm sorry. You better be. Is there anything you could do to be useful? I can try. I'm not much good with weapons, but if you've got a pistol I can use, I'll do what I can. Uh, sorry, I don't have a pistol on me. Okay. If you find one, let me know. Yeah, will do. Bye. Be careful. Garza. Now is not a good time to be talking. Yeah, I know. Is there anything you can do to help? I think not. I'm no great fighter to begin with, and I'm not feeling well. I would only get in your way. All right, fine. Just follow behind us, okay? Bye. We must keep moving. All right, gotta stay ahead of them and make sure it's safe. We need to escape while we can. Your father made a noble sacrifice. Let's make sure we don't waste it. Yeah, thanks, Autry. Being surprisingly sensitive. Being surprisingly compassionate there. At least for you. Oh fuck, I bought Enclaver right here. Gotta be around here somewhere. Better be careful. There's a bunch of iBots. They must have sent them in the tunnels to scout. Oh, fuck. Fuck, I really need a hit. <sighs> Positive ID on target. I know, Amanda, I know. Let's just get through here. No! Stay away from the rest of them. Alright, let's get out of here. They're, they're safe. They're, they aren't gonna stop coming. Let's go. Oh, fuck, ghouls. Demented Inventor. They call you mad for making robots out of all sorts of household appliances, but you'll show them. Now you can create even weirder and more wonderful contraptions. Oh fuck, that Enclave music sounds like a threat now. Dr. Lee, my heart. I must rest. We can't go any further. We need to stop. Uh, uh, all right. Why do we need to stop? Garza has a heart condition. He needs medicine or he may not make it. I'm not moving until he gets the medicine he needs. All right, uh, what can I do to help? I don't have sufficient medical supplies with me or else this wouldn't be a problem. If you have any stim packs, I would ask that you hand them over. Uh, hold on. Let me check. 
We cannot continue to delay here. Something must be done. Is there no medicine to be found? I'll see what I have on me. Garza? I am sorry. I cannot continue. I need to rest for a while. Hey, is there anything I can do to help? I do not have my usual supplies of medicine. I was too hasty in leaving. Well, I have some stim packs here. Ah, so you do. Give them to Dr. Lee, if you please. All right, uh, is there any way you could help us get through this? I am feeling better, but not well enough to be of use to you. I apologize. All right, I'll give Dr. Lee the stim packs so she can administer them. Bye. I am sorry to be causing problems. It's okay, it's okay, don't worry about it. I can't leave Garza here in this condition. We're not going anywhere until he's been helped. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've got some stim packs here. Yes, this looks to be enough. He'll need medical attention once we've reached the Citadel, but this will get him there. Thank you. Give me a moment and we can continue. All right, good. What is it? Did you give them the stim packs? Come on, let's get moving. We'll be right behind you. Be careful. All right, let's go. All right, come on, let's keep going. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I know, Amanda, I know, but we, we gotta keep going. Oh, fuck, that's a lot of them. Come on, come on. All right, all right. Oh. Oh, fuck. Brotherhood, is that good or bad? This ain't a tourist trap. You civilians get topside immediately. All, all right, let's go. Over here. Huh. Huh. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Watch your rads, people. I know, Amanda, I know. Uh, let's have a talk once everything gets settled, okay? And I am definitely going to want that. And that. <laughs> 